what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got a black federal police officer. She's driving in the morning on her way to work in Huntsville, Alabama. She says that she's listening to some gospel music in her mood, doing what she normally do. She sees a police officer with a speed gun on the side of the road. She says as she passes by, she knows that he's gonna stop her because hey, she gets harassed by the police all the time even though she's a federal agent. So she says that the guy finally pulls her over. He walks up to the car, very aggressive. He has an attitude. She asked him, hey, you know, what you put me over for? Oh, that really pissed him off. So he asked for license and registration. So she gives the license and the registration that she's digging for. She says, the other cop is like, yeah, you think you, uh, you're you special. She, what do you mean you think I'm, spe I think I'm special? Uh, you know, something, you know, because, you know, they figure like she had the federal customs uniform on that uh, she was looking for a break. And she's like, I didn't look for, looking for no break. I told him if you're going to write me a ticket, write me a ticket. You know, or let me go. So... She said that she gave him her, you know, the information that he requested. The whole time he's trying to push her buttons to, to run a hot. Now, she said that these particular cops, well, this particular cop gave her two tickets. One for, uh, one for talking on the phone, uh, and where she where she said that he said texting, one for texting, and the other for following too close, which she said was bogus because, you know, the rule is that you're supposed to for every ten miles you're supposed to have a car length in between uh, you and the car in front of you. In that situation, all of us are guilty guilty because how many people really follow that rule all the time? Some people don't follow it none of the time. I got a buddy, every time he drive, when he he drive, the, 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 the back of the car that's in front of him is here. He's like right here. Every, I don't care if he's driving, you know, if he's driving 30 miles an hour, he's like this. If it's if he's doing 60, the, he's about this wide. It's like crazy. Uh, yeah, I can't see that, but, you know, it's, uh, I would say about maybe, maybe 10 feet between him and the other car. You know, he follows cars extremely closely. So anyway, she says that the guy gives a, two tickets and she complains about the ticket, but she, you know, she, she don't put up a big fight. She, uh, eventually, uh, files a grievance and all of that stuff. She talks about how the cop was like, yeah, you know, he, when he walked up to her and he saw that she was standing up for herself and he, she knew her rights, she said, it seems like he got intimidated. So he turned his mic on. She said that if she had not had on that uniform, when she reached for her license and insurance, that he probably would have shot her because she had a gun there. And she said, if had she just been in plain clothes, like a plain black t-shirt is what she had underneath her uniform, she said he probably would have shot her she would have been dead. They would have said, uh, hey, you know, she, 
She, you know, she reached for the gun. When I saw a gun, she reached for it. I shot her. Case closed. She's dead. And you know how that go. And she was like, and he would have gotten off. She said that that particular police officer works in interdiction, so he wasn't even supposed to be writing tickets. They're not looking for people speeding. They're looking for drugs. But he pulled her over. She suspected that because she had a short haircut. He probably thought she was a man and it was going to be a sweet lick. So the moral of the story here, fam, you're black first. And she understands that. And, and it's, this is not one of those cops that just figured it out. She says that she's always known that. That's something else, fam. If they would do that to a law enforcement agent, imagine what they'll do to you. This country has had a horrible history with race relations, especially with blacks and whites. And so you find a white dude who got that chip on his shoulder. You give him a badge and a gun, what do you think is gonna happen? It doesn't matter what you do for a living, whether you're somebody out on the block or a police officer. If you're black, your black lives matter before blue lives matter. Don't you ever forget it. No more talk. What the haters talking about?